Hey there, welcome back. I'm Alex Lyon, and today we're talking about group attraction. What are those factors that attract you to the groups that you join? And we'll be working out of Bibi and Masterson's book on communicating in small groups. I will put a link to that in the description below this video. So let's get into it. So there are three variables that attract us to join the groups that we join. Number one, group activities. Clearly, you if you like the group's activities, you want to form a group with other people that like those activities or join a group. So a friend of mine is really big into disc golf and he enjoys it and loves it. And he has a group of people that he goes out with. He has invited me to become a part of that, but because I've never really played disc golf, it's not the activity that I enjoy, even though I like my friend quite a bit, it's just not an activity that gets me to join that group. But he has a group of other friends that have that activity, and that may be one of the only things they have in common, but they join that disc golf group because they all like that activity. And there are many other kinds of activities that you might join. It could be sports and activities and things like that, but it could also be other kinds of things. It could be a reading group and you might really like that book that they're reading or just reading generally. And so you might have a weekly group that you get together and you pick and read a book together because you enjoy reading and talking about books, group activity. So if you like the actual activity and work that the group is doing, you may want to join that. The second is the group's goals. So groups typically stand for something and there's a purpose, a mission. Maybe the group is going to go on a trip to help some impoverished people build a water well, a fresh water well. You like the group's goals and so even though you may not know any of those people and it may even be difficult for you to do that, you might not have the skills, you say, you know, I really support this goal, I want to be a part of that. And so you join the group because you support the goals and you want to be part of something that's a little bigger than you. You believe in the purpose, you believe in the mission. And the third reason you might join is the benefits of group membership generally. So sometimes you would join a group because there's a little prestige associated with it. There's a reputation associated with it. And by joining the group, you become a special part of that. So if there's some super fancy group and you're a part of it, then like, let's just pretend you worked at a really well-known company. Let's say it's Google and you're like, oh, I work at Google. Then there's a prestige that comes with working with a really well-known successful company like that. And groups might be the same way. You might be in an honors society and being in that honors society shows that, oh, you're a special person prestige, reputation. If the group stands, has a good reputation, then be because you're a part of it, you get to take on some of that reputation. So a lot of people will join that way. They will also join groups for desirable contacts. So if movies have taught me anything, there's a movie with Reese Witherspoon where she was in a sorority and she, be, she became a lawyer, but at first she was a, a, a sorority and uh, legally blonde it's called. And her, she joined the sorority and she ended up having all these great contacts from the sorority so that when she went out and to become a lawyer, she actually drew on those relationships and contacts from the group to help her figure out some legal process that she eventually got a victory in. So we often know this ahead of time. It's one of the reasons why people join fraternities, sororities, certain networking groups professionally because you want access to desirable contacts. You know, by joining this group, that you'll be introduced to the people you wanna be introduced to. Now that sounds like a little weird to me. It's hard for me to picture. I wanna join a group because I want to get connected with important people. Um, but it doesn't have to be important people, right? It doesn't have to be a super self-serving reason. It could just be that you like those kinds of people. You enjoy being around those kinds of people. So the contacts that you want to be involved with uh, and network with could be already in those groups. And so you join those groups to find people that are like you in a way. So those are the three main reasons or factors that usually influence whether or not we will join a group and stay with a group, the activities, goals, and membership. So question of the day, I would like you to think of a group if you are part of one, could be a sports team, could be a social club that you are a part of and see how it lines up with these three variables. Are you there for the activities, 
the goals or the benefits of membership of self or some combination of those three things. I would love to hear your comments in that section below the video and I look forward to reading them. So thanks and take care.